up guys, Austin Nurture here and today we're unboxing the Wonder Woman Legion of Collectors box. So of course this is I believe because um, for the new Wonder Woman movie. Not exactly sure if it's just Wonder Woman or what. Um, so we'll just open it. I don't think it says anywhere on here. No, it just has the Wonder Woman picture on the top. Um, so let's look at this. I believe it is the whole movie though, I think. Um, but first up, of course, we have our patch in our pin. And this patch is, of course, of just Wonder Woman's eyes. So the top of her um, head and stuff. So she has her band and everything on her head and everything. So that looks really cool. And of course, it says Wonder Woman Legion of Collectors. And then we have our pet or pin. Sorry, I don't know which one I said. Patch or like now pin. And it looks like her shield in the background, um, along with the Wonder Woman logo there at the center and stuff. So those are pretty cool pin and patches. So now let's look in here to see what we got. Oh, kind of got some spoiler stuff already because <laughs> we saw things. Okay, so first up, so this is new and this is kind of cool too. So we have a pair of pop socks. So it's like the pop shirts that we always get. And this time they are socks. I mean, of course they're one of them, so it's kind of hard or whatever for a guy to wear. I mean, obviously if you hide it, it wouldn't be as bad. Whatever, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll I mean, it's not out. like they're that bad. But it's hard to see, but of course we have the Pop Wonder Woman. I don't know if I can get it spread out to see. But we have the Pop Wonder Woman there along the front side or whatever. And then along the socks, it's hard to see, but there's um, blue... Oh, there you can kind of see it. The blue stars all the way across it. And then it looks like maybe her low... Or her yeah, her logo. Back. Yeah. I don't know if I can get it to see, but they're along the back, right behind her here, and stuff like that. So those are really cool. Um, depending on like the qualities, I mean, they're thin, but they're like dress sock type things, which is how these usually feel. Um, I would probably say I'd prefer these more because their shirts sometimes are really weird. Um, I've only found a couple that I can wear and stuff. So if socks, I mean, anyone can wear socks as long as they hold up and have pretty good quality and stuff like that. Next up, let's see, we have something kind of different. I mean, we've had these before, but it's a pint-sized hero, and of course, it's of Wonder Woman. Um, so I assume that's the same for everybody. Of course, we'll see the card and figure that out, but it doesn't show anybody else. So this is, of course, the Wonder Woman from the movie, as you can see there. And so, of course, she has the band on her head, and of course, her whole outfit and everything. She's kind of messed up, though. There's a weird chunk of plastic up there, and her hair's not sitting on. But it's the pint-sized hero, so they're... Um, cheaper and lower quality and stuff like that, but it's still cool. Haven't got a Wonder Woman else, so um, add her with all the others that I got. And now we will move on to our pops in the box. So this one is kind of weird. I think I remember seeing it, but I don't know exactly who this is. <clears throat> but we have, of course, these are exclusive to this box. But we have Doctor Maru or Man, yeah, Maru. And I don't know exactly who it is. Like I said, I think I remember seeing her in the trailer. Or him, I don't know. It's I assume her. it's a her, yeah. Um, I think I remember seeing her in the trailer, but beyond that, I have no, absolutely no clue who this is at all. Um, so it does have like an old um, style look um, to her and stuff, probably like the 1940s or whatever, like this um, movie is set and everything. She has some weird like aviation goggles, and like half of her face is all weird and stuff. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to be like a cybernetic type face edition or something like that, or if it's what it is exactly. But it looks like she's got like a doctor's like outfit type thing and stuff. We got boots and all sorts of things. Um, so it's a really weird pop, like I said. Not too excited about this, but maybe once we actually see the movie, we'll know more about it and everything. Of course, she does have the thin legs, so there is a base in here for her to stand on and stuff like that. Um, the design of the pop is pretty cool. Like I said, I don't know anything about her so like I said maybe once the movie comes out here what this sometime this month or next month or something like that um, we'll know more what she is and everything and then we have our exclusive Wonder Woman to this set and so it looks like yeah in this one she's um, kinda got her uh, lasso of truth like out like whipping it, uh, whipping it around or something like that and so it's um, a lot cooler compared to the uh, no, I guess the no, all of them are pretty cool. Like of her and her actual Wonder Woman suit are all pretty decent. So the like looks like the normal one is she's got her shield. I don't know if you can see it on there. Her, she's got her shield in front of her and her sword in her hand behind her. And then the other one she's like um, down on a uh, knee or something. Looks like she's lunging almost, <laughs> like doing lunges, like the workout and stuff. And she's got her hands all up, all weird. Um, so that one's maybe not, but they all look really decent stuff. So the top um, ones here on this side and the bottom, top and bottom ones are the two that you can find of her. That but Steve this one, Trevor pop looks pretty cool too. I didn't see him. I mean, he just looks like a normal guy to me. 
<laughs> just looks like normal. Um, but again, we have the one in which looks really awesome. I don't know. This pop just looks really nice to me. I don't know why I think it looks so cool, but it does. So, of course, we have Wonder Woman there. Again, she has her headband with this, like, star thing on it. And then her outfit, which is hard to see in the light. Um, which, she's, of course, has the, like, red top with the blue skirt. And, then, of course, her, like, red shoes, of course, with gold all over it. And then she has her lasso of truth here, winding all the way around to, like, wound up in her hand and stuff. Then, of course, she has her um, armbands, like, her bulletproof armband things and stuff like that. And this just looks really cool. I really like this pop. Like, I um, don't really buy these pops anymore, like, of movies and stuff like that. But this is one I actually really like and will keep and stuff like that. Because I really like the look and design of it and everything. So that's kind of cool. Um, so I like that. So that, I believe... Oh, I'll just sit there. Um, so that is everything um, out of the box. The box, I was going to show the inside, but I have stuff sitting in. It's just a bunch of various pictures of Wonder Woman and stuff like that. Wait. So we have our card. And so next month, the um, theme is Batman, the animated series. Um, so hopefully that'll be cool, and hopefully we'll get some cool villains or something like that. And so now we will look at our card. Uh, so we'll start with, of course, the pin and the patch. Um... They're just normal. Because a lot of these will put, like, information. I usually never read them until afterwards. Um, but just uh, looking at them, but don't see they know Well, there. We have um, the uh, pock Pint Size Heroes. Keep on. I can never get these names right. So we have the Pint Size Heroes there. Um, stuff like that. And it doesn't say... She was originally called Suprema, the Wonder Woman. But her name was sorted out before she made her comic book debut. Um, so that's... Inter interesting information. Never heard that, that she was going to be called by a different name. Then, of course, we have the Wonder Woman pop, which I really like. The Wonder Woman socks. And there's a thing where you can share the picture to win a prize if you're wearing the socks and stuff like that. Then we have the um, Dr. Uh, Man or Maru. Can never get her name. This lady. And this says, um, having earned the nickname Dr. Poison, Dr. Isabel Maru is a controversial chemist developing a mysterious new chemical weapon. She takes great joy in her work and in death and the sorry and the death it causes. So that kind of lets you know what she's doing. So I get I assume she's um, going to be obviously like the villain or a big villain in the movie. And if you've seen like the commercial, there's the part where it's got the like gas mask and like the eyes break out of it and stuff like that. So that's probably her poison um, that they're talking about and everything. Uh, but that looks like that is about it. Of course, again, Batman animated series for the next month one, which we're excited about. So that's going to be it for this unboxing of the Legion of Collectors. So if you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. Leave any comments you have down below and hit that red subscribe button to see more. And we'll see you next time. What a